Two kick. This is a fuel distributor off a 1976-911S. This is the bottom half, and this is the top half. It's upside down, but I don't want to turn it over because these parts, they fall off. But you can see this is where the fuel lines go to the fuel injectors. Anyway, to get this off, so uh, this part faces towards the front of the motor like this. This is towards the firewall of the 911. You cannot work on this with the engine up against the top of the engine compartment. So you have to lower the engine. The, all you have to do is take off the two back motor mount bolts with the motor braced, of course, and slowly lower it down so you can get eight to 12 inches. Gives you enough space to get this thing off. It, you can buy a kit. This number right here tells you which kit to buy. And I bought the kit from Salvox. They're in Miami, I think. And the kit comes with a bunch of O-rings and a bunch of brass crush washers. So, they, the selling point of Cellbox is uh, the instructions are on their website and the instructions are zero. Totally worthless, so don't count on those things. So, I've taken this off. This is the fourth time I've had it off. This is the second kit I bought. And uh, I learned lessons each time I took it apart. First time I put it together, I wouldn't start. And I think it's because I didn't have the holes lined up correctly. I'll show you that in a second. Second time I put it together, it started right up and it leaked fuel. And the third time it started right up and it leaked fuel. And this time I took it off because it's leaking fuel. This is towards the back of the motor. So you can't start the motor up unless you put this all the way together and put the engine back in place. So you raise it back up. And once it's like that, you can't see this, any of this. I could smell fuel though. And if I reached my hand around, I couldn't see it, but I could feel that there was fuel leaking underneath these. So I thought it was this connection or this connection and, or this connection or this, or the hose. So I bought new hoses and I worked on these connections I slowly came to the realization it was leaking out the bottom here. And I couldn't figure out, well, how can that be? So, the way this works, this post here, if you take off this nut, you can push on it and it pops out, this whole post. It has an O-ring. Just like that, it has one on the top and one down here lower, and it has a third one, a finer looking one. So what you do is you pop up that post, you use a little pick tool to get out the little O-ring in there. I don't know where my pick tool is, but it's here somewhere. Oh, here it is. Use one of these things to get the O-ring out. And then you put in the new one. You, this little tiny one, you have to shove in and, and fit it into a slot in, in here. 
So it actually has two O-rings that are supposed to stop this thing from leaking. This one and one like that that's down, mounted lower. So I don't know why it's leaking. Anyway, I bought a new kit. This is the old O-ring and so is that one. Anyway, the way this works, this plunger, when you put on the throttle, it makes a plate raise up, which pries this up like that. And fuel can go here, but it can't go out because this is blocking. But when it pries up, it allows, it allows the fuel to be, to go up like that. And it fuel goes, it goes, so the fuel is going in this hole, goes in the bottom through a filter that, if you can see the brown right there, that's a filter, goes into the center post, it goes up, and then it comes out these ports. There's six of them, one for each cylinder. And this is in the middle. And this thing fits up in here like this. And it'll, if it goes up, you go faster. And if it goes down, you go slower. And that's how it works. This fits very tight. It's supposed to move freely, but I haven't put grease on it yet, so I don't want to put grease until I'm done here, but... Yes, those are brand new O-rings on there. I just put them on. Um, the things that they fit on, those little pieces of metal, you have to pull them out, so you use your tweezers and you squeeze them together and pull them out a little bit so you can get those rubber o-rings to hook on like that so the tricky part is this post has to point a certain direction if you look there's a slot here that tells you so before you take this post off, mark, put an etching on here to help you know where it goes. I actually have several etchings in here. The washer's covering it right now, but anyway. But what you want is, is that mark right there points to your etching and it should line up perfectly with this hole and that hole. They all should line up. And in the case of mine, this 